Hi students, now we are going to learn about Abacus frame, its parts and its values and everything. Right now, as you are seeing, the Abacus scale is in a rectangular shape. Right, in this Abacus scale, we are having two things. First is beads and rods. Okay, and after that, we are having a line which is coming across over these two set of beads. This line we call it as an answering bar or a unit bar. In this answering bar, you will see some white dots. We call these white dots as a unit dots. Okay. Now, we will see the beads and its significance and its name. The beads which are in the lower part, we call it as a earth beads and the beads which are in the upper part, we call it as a heaven beads. Okay. All the beads which are in the lower part, we call it as a earth beads. All the beads which are in the upper part, we call it as a heaven beads. Okay. Now, the value of earth beads is 1. Okay, all earth beads carries value of 1. Each earth bead carries value of only 1. All heaven beads carries value of 5. Okay, understood. This is very important. All earth beads carries value of 1. All heaven beads carries value of 5. Now, how it is going to count? As already know about this uh, unit bar or answering bar this is going to play a very vital role in calculating of abacus let me tell you explain what is the value of earth bead one right now to calculate this we have to do one important thing first as we are seeing these white dots we have to consider any of these white dot as a units place now for example we will consider this unit dot as a units place right now i am moving one earth bead if any earth bead touches this answering bar then only the value of the bead will be considered as count I am telling once again, whenever the bead touches this answering bar, then only it will be considered as a count. Now the value is 1. Okay. If, if any bead lose the contact from the answering bar, it has no value. Like that heaven bead also considered as the same. Now, the value of abacus is a zero. If we touch down the heaven bead, what is the value? Five. As I said, the value of the heaven bead is five. Okay. If we touch one earth bead to the answering bar, it is one. I am going to touch one more earth bead. Actually, this value is also 1. 1 plus 1, 2. I am going to touch one more bead. Again, this value is also 1. But it be it is going to touch the bead, uh, answering bar. Now it is a 3. Now it is 4. Now what is the value? It is a 0 because all the beads lose the contact from the answering bar. Right. Now, one heaven bead touches the answering bar. What is the value? It's a 5. I am going to touch one more bead of earth beads. This is the value of, uh, this is the heaven bead which carries value of 5. Now, this is the earth bead which carries value of 1. 5 plus 1, 6. Like that, I am going to touch one more bead. 7, 8, and this is 9. So, in units place, we have count of 9. Okay.
Now what is the value? Now it is zero. Okay. As we consider this place as a unit's place, what will be the place to the left hand side of the unit's place? Obviously, it is a tens place. If it is a unit's place, then this will be a tens place. Now we will start moving beads over here. As I told you, value of all earth beads is only one. Now I am going to touch this bead. Now concentrate clearly. Actually the value of the bead is 1. But it is in which place? Tens place. Then what it becomes? 10. Okay. Now if I am going to touch one more bead in tens place. What, what will be the value? Now value is 20. Right. I touch one more bead. Now with the value is 30. I am going to touch one more bead. The value is 40. Right. Now it becomes 0. Now I am going to touch the heaven bead in tens place. Actually the value of the heaven bead is 5. But it is in which place? Tens place. Now the value of 5 becomes 50. Right. I am going to touch one more earth bead. 50 plus 10. 60, one more 10, 70, another one more 10, 80 and one more 10, 90. Okay. And as we know the value of units place, 5 plus 4, 9. So the total value is 99. I hope you understood. Now, this is one's place we considered. This is tens place we considered. Obviously, this will be hundreds place. Exactly, you got it. I moved one bead in hundreds place. The value is only one, but it is in which place? Hundreds place. Then it becomes hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Now five becomes five hundred. According to the place, the value of the place will be changed. One more bid which is of 100. 500 plus 100, 600. 700, 800 and 900. The same if we go one more uh, left hand side place, it becomes 1000. This is 1000. Like this, you can calculate n number of values on Abacus. If it, this is 1000, if we go one more left hand side, 10,000 lakhs, 10 lakhs, crores, like that there is no end. Right now we are having an abacus frame consisting of 13 rod. Okay, this is abacus which is being uh, given to the class teacher to teach abacus. But for every student we are giving a student abacus also this is also a 13 rod abacus this will be given to every student and with the help of this teacher abacus the teacher is going to explain how it has to be done the student will do practice on student abacus and he will learn how to move the beads on it now as we have learned what is the values? Now we will see. What is the value? It's a 1. I move 2 beads at a time. Now what is the value? It's a 3. Right. Now again. I have moved 1 bead in uh, heaven's place and 1 bead in earth place. Now what is the value? 6. I move two more beads. Now what is the value? It's a 8. And again, I move one more bead. Now it is 9. So far we have seen an addition concept. Now we will see subtraction also. As it is a 9, if I move away from the answering bar of a heaven bead. Now what is the value? It's only 4. I move 2 bits. Now what is the value? It's only 2. Right. 
I moved one more bead. Now the value is only one. Now what is the value? It's a zero. As there are no beads are touching the answering bar, the value is zero. Now like that we will see combination of tens and ones. What is this? 11. One bead in tens place, one bead in ones place. The value of the bead here is 10, here is 1. So 10 plus 1, 11. Right? Like that. Now it's a 13. It's a 14. It is 17. 19. 20. I have I, I moved one more bead in tens place and no beads in ones place. So 20. Now it's a 23. Now it is a 28. 5 plus 3, 8. <coughs> now I moved one more bead. 30. It's a 35. It's a 36. And it's a 38. And now it is 40. 42. 44. 49. 50. 5 zero. Only heaven beats. 52. 54. 59. 60 right like this you can calculate anything now I will ask uh, some simple problems now tell me what is this it's a 34 okay now what is this it is 53 Now it is a 61. Okay. Low, we will see some examples even in hundreds place. I moved one bead in hundreds place, two beads in tens place, three beads in ones place. This is 123. So the value on Abacus right now is 123. 123. Okay, now it's a 128. Now it is 167. Now it is 146. Now it is 131. Now it is 114 like this you can calculate n number of values this is the beads the way you move the value also differs next to move these beads there is a particular finger movement is there okay always we have to use thumb and forefinger or index finger with this only you are supposed to move a backers.